Hello, and welcome to the Beginner's Guide to KDE. KDE, officially known as the Plasma Desktop, is a popular desktop environment used by many Linux users since 1998. Since its release, KDE has seen little in the way of layout updates, seemingly emulating the Windows-style desktop. KDE is well known in the Linux community for being one of the most demanding desktop environments on the platform, but provides its users with a fluid and easily customizable desktop experience. Today, we'll be looking at the basics of using KDE. Users familiar with the likes of Windows XP, Vista, 7, and 10 will feel right at home on the KDE desktop. Along the bottom of the screen is a single panel containing a number of essential widgets for your computer. On the far left of this panel is a button to bring up our application launcher. This launcher gives you a list of applications that you have specified as your favorite applications. On the top of the launcher is the user's image, name, and the computer's host name. On this menu, we can begin typing the name of an application to search for it. On the bottom of the launcher is a row of buttons for different menu tabs. Hovering over the Applications button reveals the different application categories available. Clicking one of these categories reveals all installed applications inside. Hovering over the Computer button gives the user options to run a command, open their system settings, or open their home, network, hard drive root, and trash can. Hovering over the History button reveals any recently opened applications. Finally, hovering over the Leave button allows you to lock your screen, log out, or switch to a different user, or suspend, restart, or shut down your computer. The largest section of the panel is dedicated to any open window buttons. When a window is open, a button appears, allowing the user to bring the window forward. Right-clicking the button allows the user to minimize, maximize, start a new instance, create a quick launch button, or close the window, as well as perform a number of other various window actions. Near the right of the panel is an area for any status indicators to appear. By default, you have indicators for your network, chat availability, and volume. This arrow reveals a menu with a list of other indicators. Most notably is the notifications indicator, which saves any past notifications in case you miss them. Next is the clock. By default in KDE, the clock shows the time in 12-hour format. Hovering the cursor over the clock reveals the day of the week and the current date. Clicking the clock reveals a full monthly calendar. Finally, on the far right of the panel is a settings button. Clicking this button brings up a number of options for customizing the panel, such as the screen edge it's on and the height of the panel. Here we can also add widgets and spacers to the panel. Under more settings, we have options to set the panel to automatically hide, and the option to delete the panel entirely. In the top left corner of the screen is a desktop menu. Clicking this menu provides us with options to show the desktop, add widgets, manage our activities, lock the widgets to the desktop, change our desktop settings, lock the screen, or leave the computer. Let's just look at activities. Activities are very similar to workspaces on other desktop environments. To switch to or modify your activities, click the option in this menu. This will reveal a sidebar with your currently open activities. To add an activity, click the Create Activity button on the bottom of the sidebar. Give the activity a name, an optional description or icon, and click Create. Any windows open here will remain in this activity and will not move over to another activity. To delete an activity, switch away from it, then open the Activities menu again. Now, click the Settings button on the top of the sidebar. In this window, locate the activity you would like to delete and click the trash can icon. Click Yes and the activity will be deleted. KDE provides a number of desktop widgets to speed up your workflow or just provide some amusement. To add a widget, click the desktop menu and then click the widgets button. This will reveal a sidebar with a large list of widgets. These widgets can be added to the desktop or an open spot on a panel. Simply drag the widget you like to its destination. To delete a widget, simply right-click and click Remove. KDE allows users to modify the look and feel of just about anything on the desktop. There are far too many fine-tuning options to cover in one video, so let's just look at some of the basic options provided. 
going to the system settings and workspace theme settings provides the user with a few predefined theme options. To change your overall desktop theme, click the theme you would like to use, and then click Apply. Let's customize this even more. Under Desktop Theme, we are provided with a few themes for our panel and menus. We can now switch to the Oxygen theme, for example. Under Cursor Theme, we can also change our cursor. That looks good, but let's see if the internet can do any better. KDE allows users to easily download and install themes, cursors, icons, and more using the built-in add-on installer. To do this, simply click the Get New Themes button. Here, you can scroll through a list of cursor themes created by other people online. To install a theme, simply find the one you want and click Install. Now when you go back, you'll find the newly installed theme ready to use. Like I said, KDE provides more options for customizing our theme than I could cover in one video, so I'll just tweak a few things and come back. Feel free to explore on your own desktop and tweak it to your liking. If you'd like to lock your screen, you can do so in the desktop menu or under the Leave tab in the application launcher. Once you click the lock button, your lock screen will appear. Simply type your password and either hit enter or click unlock to unlock your screen. Finally, if you'd like to shut down your computer, you can do so from the Leave tab in the application launcher. Here, you're given the option to shut down, restart, or suspend your computer. KDE provides users with a beautiful and easily customizable desktop experience. Feel free to explore and customize your computer to your heart's content. My name is Ben High, and I hope you enjoyed this introduction to KDE. Thank you for watching.